Some steps forward today in Jefferson City for an incentive package that would help a Ford plant here in the metro. Well, Chris Hernandez is in the newsroom with the very latest tonight. Chris? Mark and Elizabeth, late this afternoon, I talked with both Missouri's governor and Kansas City's mayor about this incentive package. State lawmakers head into a make-or-break day tomorrow in that special session, and today there was some political maneuvering that could hurt the package. The governor's proposed incentives would help the Ford Claycomo plant with $150 million in state tax benefits over the next 10 years. We feel like we've gotten off to a good, solid start uh, as to what's necessary to make sure that we keep the auto jobs of the future right here in the Kansas City area. Governor Nixon came to Kansas City this afternoon to speak to the Greater Kansas City Chamber of Commerce about the special session. And Kansas City Mayor Mark Funkhauser was in Jeff City this morning to testify in favor of the bill despite his anti-incentive reputation. Uh, it is not upfront money. Uh, it is not an attempt to bail out a failing industry. Uh, this is a company that uh, is going to invest a half a billion dollars in plant upgrade and new facility. During today's session, a Metro lawmaker, Tim Fluke, pushed to expand the incentives to help not just car makers, but data processing centers too. Uh, I did think they got a little a little wider than they should have this morning, but, but uh, uh, we've got an afternoon to work, and, and tomorrow, uh, hopefully, we'll get this me measure out on the floor of the House tomorrow. Lawmakers are also debating how to pay for the incentives. The proposal would force new state employees to retire later and pay more into their pensions. The incentive package passed out of the committee today with that extra amendment still attached, and it all heads for the House floor tomorrow. In the newsroom, Chris Fernandez, NBC Action News. Hey, Chris, didn't the mayor recently just make some comments about wanting Kansas City, Missouri to have its own chamber of commerce to represent the city? Well, yeah, this was the mayor's first appearance at any chamber function since his recent State of the City speech, and that was when, if you remember, he slammed the chamber saying it didn't care about Kansas City neighborhoods. Funkhauser told me that he doesn't see any irony in pushing for regional help for the Clay Como plant after just criticizing the regional Chamber of Commerce. All right, Chris Hernandez in the newsroom, thank you. Now, you can tell the mayor what you think about the special session, the Chamber of Commerce, or any other issue facing the city. Mayor Funkhauser's next town hall meeting is scheduled for Wednesday night at the Plaza Library. That's 4801 Main Street. The town hall meeting begins at 630.